Big changes are on the way late tonight going into Wednesday around here. Now, I think our high temperatures will be in the upper 60s to near 70 around midnight. Then we will spend most of the day Wednesday in the 50s with wind chills in the 40s. So it is going to be a brisk day across the area. Don't get out of the 50s on Thursday, but a quick warm up on Friday as southerly and southwesterly winds return. And that will lead us to a nice weekend around here. But again, we do have a pretty big change on the way. Lots of Pacific moisture hosing right into the area. It's like a fire hose coming right off the Pacific and into the central Texas area. And that's going to continue for tonight. We will be seeing the potential of maybe a sprinkle or two as we head toward Thursday, but rain will not be the main story with this cold front. It will be the rapidly falling temperatures and the wind that we will see as we head into our Wednesday. And as far as forecast rainfall over the next 48 hours, well, as you can see, it's pretty meager across the area. Just a few light showers, some drizzle, especially as we head into Thursday across the region. So let's get to the real part here. The wind is gonna be a factor as we head into our Wednesday. By midnight, things will be pretty quiet, still southerly winds, but here comes that blast with that front as we head into about 3 o'clock in the morning for Waco, Temple, Colleen. Northwestern County is a little bit sooner. Southeastern County is a little bit later as we head towards sunrise, but temperatures will be falling into the 40s. Wind chills will be down into the 30s. Winds will be gusting over 30 miles per hour. It will be vastly different as we head into Wednesday morning. Going on into the afternoon, the wind will slowly let up as we head toward 4 or 5 o'clock. And then just some lighter winds, but still a chilly wind as we get into Thursday. As far as temperatures are concerned, I'm going to show you this particular model because it's going to show you, again, our midnight highs, upper 60s, lower 70s. Then we're falling as we make our way into the morning hours, and we will not recover during the day. Upper 40s, low 50s as we head toward lunchtime, and then maybe getting into the mid 50s if we can see a few peaks of sunshine by Wednesday afternoon around 4 or 5 o'clock. But still, with that gusty wind, it is going to be quite chilly across the area. Then temperatures fall into the 40s as we move into Thursday morning. By Thursday afternoon, we're only in the 50s. The clouds continue across the area, a few light showers. And then it gets quite brisk as we make our way into Friday morning, 30s and 40s across the area. So it is, again, going to be a pretty big change from the 90s, even 100 degree temperatures that we saw as we headed through our Tuesday and Monday. But it looks like that we're going to be seeing those falling temperatures for Wednesday. Again, a high in the upper 60s early on in the morning, falling into the 50s, mid 50s as we head into Thursday, about 40 percent chance for enough few showers as well. And then as we get into Friday, middle 70s around, then it's back into the upper 70s to near 80 for the weekend. An isolated storm threat will move in on Monday at 78 degrees, and then we may have a couple of isolated to widely scattered storm threats as we head through next week, and the models have warmed it up next week as well. In the Brazos Valley, 69, 70 degrees. Again, that will be early with falling temperatures, 55 degrees on Thursday, 40% chance of scattered showers, then close to 80 as we get into to the weekend on into early next week and then a couple of chances for a few storms as well.